Well, I'm David Ulrich, and I'm the juror for Art Maui 2015. We just finished looking at 500 plus pieces, and we now have an exhibition. And how many in the exhibition? I think there's about 92. So approximately one out of five. Mm -hmm. My general impression of this year's Art Maui isn't a lot different than ones I've seen in the past. I feel that there's a lot of incredible artists on Maui, and I feel that they're very, very good at making beautiful objects. So one of the things I was hoping to see was more work that dealt with the world at large, that dealt with perhaps social awareness. But what I'm finding is that people love their environment, the beauty of the environment, and the work that people do with form and color is quite extraordinary. But what's notably absent is work with much social content or social awareness. I keep hoping for that to be different. I keep hoping that Maui artists will um, employ their, their quite solid skills at the service of something greater than themselves. Well, I think it's a very tight show. I think there's a lot of really strong work. Um, some of the artists are well established, and I think we did find and select a number of newer, younger artists whose work hasn't been seen that much. Um, there's a lot of really interesting 2D work. 2D was one of the strong, 2D painting especially was one of the strong areas. And a lot of good craft work, woodworking, ceramics. Surprising, there was very little photography. There was some, but not a lot. Mm -hmm which I would expect more because I am a photographer and people I thought would enter more. And the scale of the works, and I don't know how it's been in prior years, but the scale of the works are quite large in many cases. Uh -huh. In fact, some of the smaller pieces got dwarfed and I had to consciously go back and, and pay attention to the smaller pieces. Mm -hmm. And this year there were um, proposals for installations several of which uh, were delightful. Um, two got in, and we look forward to seeing those. Mm -hmm. Should we walk around and look at some of the pieces? Sure. Oh, nice. wow. I stopped by here yesterday after coming in from the airport, and as soon as I saw this piece, I was really drawn to it. I feel the craftsmanship is just extraordinary. And the, the level of subtlety is, is just exquisite. And when I look at some of these wood pieces, there were a couple of pieces of wood and some scrolls that are rolled up. And I asked Jane, Jane, when do you think these artists started working on these? Probably a year ago, after the last art moment. I mean, some of these pieces represent a significant commitment of time and energy. So there's a number of the craft pieces that, that I was I guess the, the right word would be awe. I was mm -hmm. in awe of the level of craftsmanship and the time and energy of public mm -hmm. to, to, to put these together. What I liked about the show was where I saw artists taking risks. And some of the risks were not in relationship to content, but in relationship to the form. Like in this, um, I don't know what this is, a print. I love the way the artists cut out the overall shape and then added the very intricate wire in the center. I felt this was a really beautiful piece. <laughs> um, this is an artist that typically works in ceramics, an artist by the name of Tom Fott, and he's actually been creating pieces on an iPad and then printing them on what looks like a digital inkjet print on aluminum. Mm -hmm. So, again, I, I, I favored it when artists were taking risks. Mm -hmm. The jury was anonymous. In other words, I didn't see the names, but I actually know a lot of the artists sure. work well enough that sure. I recognize their work. Mm -hmm. Thought this was a, a lovely painting. Again, um, it's one of those paintings that I think relates to both color and form. But there's also realistic content there. I think some of the stronger paintings balanced what I would call abstraction with realism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where people were working in photography, 
There's a few just exquisite pieces. This aluminum print um, is a photograph and it's of slippers. But once again, there's a sense of the luminosity coming from within the photograph. If there's anything that I would call unique to Maui art, I would say it's that luminosity that comes from within the photograph or within the painting, much like you see in the paintings of Rothko. And you certainly see it in some of the, the paintings here in the show. And in, in a few of the photographs, although I wanted to see it more in the photographs, I also find these pieces um, by Jay Wilson both formally extremely strong and at the same time they're playful. You know, there's something very light about them, but yet you can see that this is a, a, a person that really has a very strong sense of craft. So both of these pieces are in the show. Can you hold one up? Yeah, and I find them um, <clears throat> quite powerful in terms of the relationship between these strong dominant forms with a great deal of depth and subtlety. Something that, something that emerged immediately and during the show is probably the first division is people that you could tell were very visually trained and people that weren't. It's almost the first yes and no. Oh, this person has a background in art. This person has been visually trained. This person is not. I would say it was the first clear division of yes and no mm -hmm. in terms of my process as a juror. Sure. The ceramic and glasswork, some of it was just quite beautiful. This wood piece. And what's interesting, if you look at this wood piece with the light behind it, mm -hmm. again, there's a sense of luminosity to the form. Mm -hmm. And the other piece I found really interesting was this piece here. There's something I think very interesting about this. And I'd like to add one more thing. I'm, I'm very thankful that Art Maui decided to do installation pieces. Certainly we know that um, performative art and installation art is at the forefront of what a lot of artists are doing. We have several proposals for installation work, and I think it's a really contemporary new addition to Art Maui that's welcome. We have content from the ocean. <laughs> How could we not let in a giant squid? <laughs> You know, one of the things I tried to do is, I tried not to, if you will, edit content. In a sense, I wanted to be transparent and I wanted to be fair and I wanted to do a survey of what was happening with Maui art. So I tried to put in work that I felt was just good, that, that was um, well done. And always in the back of my mind, I'm thinking about content and when work had content, whether it was playful or serious, it, it tipped the scales for me in terms of it getting in. Mm -hmm. And I have to just um, say that, again, I feel that the, I don't know how quite to say this, but I feel that the, the depth of content of some of the Maui art could go farther. Clearly the artists have craftsmanship, clearly they have technique, mm -hmm. but my question always is, what are you saying? What are you talking about in, the, in your work? Or are you just trying to make a beautiful object? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we're so seduced by our environment that in some ways we live in a bubble. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important for artists to recognize that there's a lot of people that are going to come and see the show. And we have an opportunity to communicate something of our concerns to people through art. And my platform has always been trying to say to Maui artists, you're so good, there's such an explosion of creativity, but can't we be doing something that serves the world, that serves the community, that serves the culture? And think about Art Maui as being a survey where we can learn about what is positive in our community and where we need to grow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.